moving swiftly on. Hello, we're back with another tutorial, and this is another drawing tutorial. We're going to have a look at how to draw a dolphin. So, if you're interested in learning how to draw one of these, stick around. Let's get crafting. Okay, so I'm going to drawing a dolphin. So, we're going to start with a circle. So, I'm going to draw as close to a nice circle as we can. Remember, this wants to be a soft circle, so we don't want to press in really hard on the pencil. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to create the body. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to aim to go from here down to about here. So we're going to follow this line, this curve, sorry, until we get to about here. And then we're going to head down to here. So we're going to go like that. And then we're going to curve down to there. might take you a couple of tries to get down to where you'd like to be or to make it look like you'd like but you want to do something like that and then our next step is to go from here to here and we're going to just do a similar a similar thing so we're just going to draw a line a curved line from there To there like that and just join them up at the bottom like so and that's going to be the start of our dolphin so that's kind of going to be the general shape of the body so next we need to do the, um, the front where the mouse going to be so to do that we're going to carry on this nice curved line past our circle and then we're going to curve it up and back to the head like that. So we carry on our line past our circle and then we go up and back to the head like that to make the front where the mouth's going to be and then all we're going to do is we are a little bit this is a little bit too long so here we're going to go a little bit further along and we're just going to do that and follow the curve and just join it up into there and then we're going to get rid of this circle because we don't need it anymore so I'm going to get my rubber and again because I've done really soft lines, so little soft sketchy lines, these are nice and easy to get rid of. Like that. So you have, should have something that looks a little bit like that. If you don't it might be a good time to pause it and try and get to this stage. So what we're going to do next is we're going to um, just put our eye in just so that we know roughly where it's going to be. Now our eye, the middle of it's probably going to be about there. So we're just going to draw a nice big circle there. Now if you make sure you do this softly, it means that if you're not happy with where it is or you think it's too big, it's going to be super easy to um, get rid of it and do it again. Little glint in the eye, like that. Good stuff. So, what we're going to do now is put a little mouth on him or her, could be either. And to do that, we're just going to go from here and we're just going to do a little smile like that. And then we're going to concentrate on the tail. <coughs> so, the tail. Where this point is, is important, because that is where we're going to start our fins, uh, sorry, our tail, our tail fins. So, you're going to follow it and 
curve it out. And as you curve it out, you're then going to go the other way. So you're kind of doing it at an S. Like that. And then you're going to join it back to the tail there. Like that. <coughs> it might take a few goes. I think I've probably done mine a little bit big there. So I'm actually going to redo mine, but it's not a problem. Mistakes are all are all part of drawing, all part of drawing, and all part of learning how to draw, or learn how to do anything really. And then um, let's see if we can make this look a little bit better this time. And then on the other side, we're going to do roughly the same. It's going to be a little bit smaller because it's actually behind the dolphin. So we're going to do that. So we've done our S again. You can see it there. Although actually that's an S. This is a backwards S. And we're going to do that. And that's going to be our tail thin. Pretty happy with that. And then we're going to look at doing um, the fin that's on top. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it might be called the dorsal fin, but I could be wrong. Um, and we're just going to do basically a triangle. So you could draw a triangle first like that and then just make it curved. Now you don't want the top to be spiky because we're not trying to make it like a shark. We want it to be nice and curved on top because it should be quite a friendly looking thing. And there we go, so we've just gone out. All I've done there is I've curved that line, I've done a curve on the top, and then I've curved it back again and into the body. Like that. And you want to keep that line because the fin is actually in the middle of the back not um, on one of the sides, the one on the top. And we'll just do a little, whilst we're here, we'll do a little blow hole here. Before I forget. And we are going to do our side fins now. So they're gonna be pretty much in line with this. So they're gonna start about here. And again, it's going to be kind of like a triangle. I'm going to go down like that and down like that and just curve off the end. You don't want a sharp point on it. And that's going to be one. So it's, if you see it's pretty much a triangle shape. And then the other one is going to be behind because you can't see it. So we're going to draw it like this. that's going to be the one that is behind so it's on the other side of our dolphin so that's our two fins done <coughs> and so what we need to do now is um, we need it to be a different color on the underside so where the tummy is so the way we're going to do that let me just draw that line a bit better so you can see it is we're going to draw a line from the mouth to so the edge of the mouth here it's not here to the tail and it needs to get it needs to get thinner the closer to the tail it is so I'm going to start from there let's try and do it so you can see it and I'm going to follow the curve of this with the body all the way down to the end of the tail where it should be super thin by the time you get down there to be a bit that we will colour a different colour on the underside so that bit will be grey. That 
is the basic shape and outline of, um, of our dolphin. So I'm going to go over it with um, a black felt tip so you can see a little bit better um, what I've done. And then we'll give it a little bit of colour and maybe put a little bit of water or have a few splashes coming out. I'm probably going to have, him have, have this uh, dolphin jumping out of the water I think so I'll probably have a bit of a sea there and I'll probably just do a few splashes of water coming out like that. And the same on the other side. Now I definitely need to have a look at drawing water better because I'm really not very good at doing splashes. But it'll work for what we're doing. And we shall do that. And we'll have a little sun up here I think as well. I like to have a sun and we maybe have a few birds in the sky. mountain there in the background. Right, so I'm going to go over this with my felt tip now. Okay, so I've gone over the outline and we're just going to rub out all our pencil marks that we don't need anymore so that we can see what it looks like before we add a little bit of colour. Quite a nice and simple um, drawing this. Quite enjoyed, um, quite enjoyed doing it. Right then, so that's what it looks like before we add any colour. And I'm going to go in now with my felt tips and um, do some colouring. Dolphin finished and coloured in. Unfortunately, my pen started to run out when I was trying to do the water and the splash, so it doesn't look as good as it probably could have, but I'm still pretty happy with the overall um, dolphin. So hopefully you've ended up with something like this and you've enjoyed having a go at learning how to draw a dolphin. Okay, so hopefully you've enjoyed having a go at learning how to draw a dolphin and you've ended up with something that looks a little bit like this, if not probably better. Now, if you've had a go at drawing this and you'd like to show me, I'd absolutely love to see it. So do feel free to ask your parents to send me an email with the picture in or they can dojo message me it. That'd be absolutely brilliant. So until next time, keep on crafting.